This episode of Phone Buff is brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash phone buff to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, that's audiblepodcast.com slash phone buff for your free audiobook. What's up guys, David here, and welcome to the very first episode of Phone Buff Q&As, the show where you can ask me just about anything you want, related or unrelated to mobile technology, and where I get a chance to ask you guys, that's right, you, a couple of weekly questions via polls on our Facebook fan page. You can be part of the weekly polls by liking us at facebook.com slash phonebuff and keep those questions coming on Twitter at phonebuff. I'll put the links you need down below, but with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Twitter follower Hamza F or HMZAF asks, what new features do you want to see in Android Jelly Bean 4.3? Well, given that Google just announced Android 4.3, I can't really go over a wish list since it already exists, but I will talk about what's new in Android 4.3 just a little bit and hopefully that'll make up for it. So Android 4.3 is still sticking with the Jelly Bean name, which has now carried over since 4.1, so no Key Lime Pie just yet, which right off the bat tells you that this is just an incremental update meaning that there won't really be anything that'll jump out at you, but there were definitely some nice new features added like T9 dialing, which by the way would have definitely been on my wishlist for sure. There's now restricted profiles so you can limit access to certain apps and content. OpenGL was updated to 3.0, which should help improve the performance of high-end graphics. Virtual surround sound was added and will be supported on the new Nexus 7. And finally, there's now support for Bluetooth low energy, which will let you connect various Bluetooth accessories without draining your battery too much. I know it wasn't quite a wish list, but hopefully that'll do. Yoni Meiri asks, what's your guess on when the iPhone 6 will be released? July 2014. But if you're talking about the iPhone 5S, I'd say somewhere between late August and early October. Apple typically sticks to about a one year product cycle with the iPhone and considering that the iPhone 5 was released last September, it's due anytime now, barring any kind of manufacturing delays. James asks, what's your favorite ice cream? Well, trying to keep a healthy lifestyle and all, I don't always eat ice cream, but when I do, it's cookies and cream. Sebastian Valencia asks, what was your first phone? Okay, so I'll take this as a two-part question. My first cell phone was the Motorola V188. I got it when I was 16 years old, and given that it was my first cell phone, I was actually pretty happy with it. Until, of course, it started giving me static out of the earpiece, which eventually led to this vicious cycle of refurbished replacement phones where the new phone wouldn't necessarily have the same issue, but usually it'd have an entirely different issue, which sort of just drove me crazy and led me to getting my second phone after two years. So I waited out my contract and uh, this was actually my first smartphone in the HTC MDA, or otherwise known as the HTC Mogul. Sure, when you look at it now, it's just a big, bulky, slow, and outdated paperweight, but I remember when I first got it, I was just amazed at all the different things I could do with it. Having Windows Mobile, which looked just like Windows XP, made to fit on a smaller screen size, was just mind blowing to me. Needless to say, that phone was probably the reason that I got so into mobile technology with all the unlocking and overclocking I did with it. And uh, unfortunately, that euphoria that I have with that phone only lasted about two months because my dog ended up biting that phone. But yeah, thank God for insurance. I asked you via PhoneBuzz Facebook poll, what phone do you guys think is the best right now? And the majority of you at 43% voted for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Coming at second place, 27% of those who voted said they thought the HTC One was the best. Just under 10% of you voted for the almost one year old iPhone 5, which is pretty impressive I have to say. And about 7% voted for one of the Lumia 920s, whether it was the 920, the 928, or the 925. Do you agree or disagree with the poll's results? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, that's it for me in this video of Phone Buff Q&As. Remember that this show runs on your questions and your votes. So make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, which again will be linked down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps out. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so I can see you guys in the very next video. Thank you for watching.